and welcome to the Adventures with Flowers Mindful Gardening and Floristry vlog series. The purpose of this series is to encourage you to take some time for yourself um, and to learn how to grow and arrange your own cut flowers mindfully. As mums we often find it hard to justify giving ourselves even 20 minutes a day so I'm here to tell you um, that it is okay to do that and give you permission to do so. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create a gift bouquet to give to somebody that you care for. It's well documented that when we give a gift, our brains secrete um, various feel-good chemicals, so things like serotonin, dopamine, um, and these can actually boost our mood. Um, that's why so many of us love to give gifts. So we're going to use a spiral technique to make this bouquet. Um, this basically just means that we end up with a lovely nice dome shape with everything evenly distributed around um, and it will be able to be taken straight out of its packaging and put straight into a vase and it will look lovely. So I'm going to start with some foliage. Um, I've actually got some foraged ivy here that I'm using um, and I have foraged this out on walks with my little girl. Um, which is a really lovely mindful activity at this time of year as well. It gets you outside in the fresh air. Um, and just, I always try and go for branches with loads of berries on. So for me, just the act of really focusing on trying to pick ones with berries um, really means that I'm present in the moment. Um, so why not give that a go if you are feeling not great and you need something to focus on. Right, so what we're doing is we're literally just crossing the branches over here. adding them in and then we're just twisting I'm also using chrysanthemums now I don't know about you but it's November now and my garden is looking so so bleak um, so I love chrysanthemums because they these will probably flower till hopefully till christmas now maybe some even into january um, so i as you can probably tell i grow really brightly colored ones um, but it just means that that's something to look at out in the garden when everything else is looking a bit bleak and a bit bare and um, so they are a really really good flower and it means you can carry on um, making arrangements right through the winter and when you're using seasonally grown British flowers, that is definitely a bonus. So you can see here, I'm literally just crossing the stems. Put another bright green one in there. So I'm just going like that, putting it, crossing it in, and then I'm just twisting the whole thing. And I'm trying to make sure all the things I'm adding are relatively evenly spaced throughout the bouquet. You can see here I've got a bright, uh, sort of a light pink coloured here, so I'm going to add one here so it's on the opposite side. Generally, with flower arranging, we try and work with odd numbers of things. Um, obviously, given that some of these flowers are homegrown, you don't always end up with odd numbers of them. But where you can, it's a really good idea to try and use them. It just makes it more pleasing to the eye. really helps you to okay. just helps your eye to focus on it will always focus naturally on the middle um, on the middle flower I'm not so good at talking and uh, doing am I <laughs> Right, so we're nearly there. I've got about three more stems to add. So I'm just going to twist here. Add some more bright green. Actually, take that out. I'm going to add some pink in first. Just 
pink there. And some nice bright green in that gap. And last little bit of ivy. And I've got one more bright green chrysanthemum to go in. So there you go. Now you can just move, once you're finished, sort of move the flowers around to make sure that you've got a nice even distribution. There were a couple of flowers that I put in, I only had one each of, so you'll have to, so you can see there, nice full looking bouquet. Now I'm going to use some raffia because I'm going to give this as a gift, but you could just use a bit of string, whatever you've got at home. So I'm going to change the camera angle now and show you how to do that. Right, so what you're going to do here is you're going to take your piece of raffia and you're going to hook it with this back finger. Can you see that? Then you're just going to pass it around. So you've got that tight there. Can you see? Now once that's tight, you can let go of everything. Just pull that leaf out of the way there. Um, because everything's held in place. So you can probably see now when you zoom in the nice how everything goes around in a nice spiral. That's what you're aiming for. And if you were to put this down and take your hands off, it would just all collapse. So that's why you need to try and hook the string round whilst it's still held in your hand. I'm literally just going to tie it like that. And then I'm going to do a nice bow. Just like I said, I'm going to give this as a gift. There we go, and then you can just trim the ends. I'm going to leave them because I quite like the wild look. Now I'm going to show you how to wrap it. Right, so you're going to take a square of paper. I'm just using black paper, but you can use any paper. And you're literally just going to fold it like that. This is one I did earlier. And you're just going to lay them over like that. And I'm going to use a sticker. I try not to use too much sellotape, but obviously you can use sellotape for this. I'm going to use a sticker to join the two pieces on the back like that. And you're just going to take your bouquet. It's easier if you pull this to the edge. And you're just going to lay it in like that. And you're just going to fold. Take all the flowers inside, like that, and then you're just going to put another sticker on there. There is a little bit of there. Uh... Don't get me wrong, this took me a long time to master this, so if you don't get it right the first time, don't beat yourself up. Just put it on there, there we go. And I've got one little edge around here. Needs a sticker. Some might say that's over branded, but who cares? And there you go, you've got your bouquet. Ready to give. I hope you really enjoyed the episode. If you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that we can reach more mums who feel like they might be needing a little bit of time for themselves. If you have any questions at all, please head over and find me on Instagram. I'm at Adventures with Flowers and I can answer any questions there. Thanks so much. Bye.